It is time. What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Triple TV. Today, we are finally going to do, I think it's time that we are going to do a video on the Pew Pew collection, if you know what I mean. A couple of these you guys have already seen before, so I ain't going to go into a whole lot of detail. But other than that, let's get started. As you guys know this one right here, this is the Taurus 380, my personal protection pistol. Every one of these firearms are unloaded. I will make sure to show you that they are unloaded so they are safe. The clip is a six round clip. Uh, just like I said, just a little pocket pistol. And you guys, most of you guys have been following this for a long enough time. This is actually the third time that I've had this firearm on this channel. Good little pistol, you know, fits comfortably in my hand. The next one, I don't know if you guys have seen before, but uh, I'm just gonna show it to you anyway. This right here is my Heritage 22 revolver. It, my grandpa gave me the belt. It's a 22 belt. It's got the 22 shells in it and gave me the, the holster. Uh, I bought this gun from a grocery store here in Arkansas, believe it or not. Uh, there is a grocery store that sells firearms still. And I didn't spend that much on it. I believe it was 169 The cylinder, this particular cylinder is for 22 long rifle. Uh, you can get them in 22 mag. I have, you know, shot it several times. I just wanted a six shooter. I'm really into the cowboy stuff, you know, like uh, the w Old West and stuff like that. And... Oh, I guess I better show you that it's empty. Uh, for those of you that you, that don't know, you uh, flip this little thing right here, cock the hammer back, and then you can turn the cylinder. It's empty. Very empty. You guys are probably going to think that I'm the most boring gun owner because I don't have no ARs. I don't have no AR-15s. I don't have no uh, automatic rifles. The only semi-automatic rifle I got is the squirrel gun, which you guys have seen the squirrel gun, but I've not gone into a whole lot of detail on it. But uh, I'm really into the to the older, more traditional uh, firearms. But um, anyway, I have shot this a little bit. It's actually a goal of mine to harvest a squirrel with this. I got to get the squirrels found first, but uh, hopefully I can do a video, take uh, three, four different guns, and kill squirrels with all four different guns in one episode. But this will be one of them that I wanna that I wanna kill a squirrel with. This particular shotgun right here I found at Walmart for a hundred bucks back in 2017, I believe. Yeah, 2017. It was right before I met my wife. Anyway, I seen it in there, hundred bucks, and I said, I've got to own this gun. And you guys are probably sitting there laughing. It's a 410. Yeah, it's a 410, but I got it for one reason and one reason only, and that is to squirrel hunt with it. I don't like sitting there and chewing on BBs from 12 gauge and 20 gauge. And I figured a tight pattern out of a 410 shotgun, shoot it in the head, won't have to worry about eating BBs. I have killed several squirrels with this old gun right here. It's not an old gun, but this gun right here. It's a Hatfield 410, breaks down. You, right here where the trigger guard is, pull it down like you're squeezing the trigger, pull it down and it breaks down just like that. And it's got this groove right here and that fits, trigger guard actually fits into there. So you can carry it in your backpack if you're, you know, uh, going on a, I don't know, survival camping trip or something like that. 
So it's pretty neat little deal. It's kind of heavy, not real heavy, kind of heavy. It's got uh, it's got two safeties on it. It's got your hammer, and then it's got the safety right here. So pretty. I mean, it's just a basic gun is what it is. Full choke and just a heck of a little gun. Like I said, I have killed some squirrels with it. It shoots the three inch 410 shells a lot better than it does the two and three quarter. Let me tell you that right there. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, hundred bucks, man. You can't beat that with a stick for this little gun right here. All right, so moving on to the next one. You guys have seen glimpses of this gun right here. I think I've only had it in one video and I know I didn't talk about it, but this right here is a 12 gauge h &R. They call it the partner pump. I killed my first turkey, that one right there. I killed him with this gun right here. Everything that I have shot at with this gun, I have killed. I've killed squirrels with it. I've killed turkey with it. I've killed dove with it. I've killed, I think I've killed rabbit with it too, but it's got a place for a scope. You can mount a scope right here. Uh, just a heck of a gun. My brother-in-law, sister, and mom all went in together and bought me this gun. And just a little side note, H&R is one of my favorite brands. H&R, Harrington Richardson, they're a cheaper gun, but let me tell you something. They are the shootingest guns you will ever shoot. I'm going to move on to the next one. And you guys have seen this one before. I did do a little review on it. Uh, well, pretty good review on it. This one right here is my turkey gun. I, everything that's on it is for turkeys. And I harvested that turkey right there with it. It is a youth model gun. It's very light. Mossberg 20 gauge. Shoots three inch shells. Let me tell you something. It does pack a punch. But this gun right here dropped that turkey at 22 yards. And I couldn't have been more happy with how it performed shot at one time i didn't even pattern this gun but i shot it one time and it dropped that dead gum turkey so that was the only time that i shot it i got a i got a true glow turkey choke for it i don't know if you can see it really good in the light that i have but it's a true glow turkey choke this thing right here guys i'm telling you one time dropped that turkey dead in its tracks i did do this by myself i would like to get this hydro dipped but what I would hydro dip is just the metal. This and this and this right here. The rest of it, if I could keep that black, I would love to. But if not, then this right here I'd keep black and this right here I'd keep black. Everything else I would make it camo. To be honest with you, I have never shot this gun. My brother-in-law gave it to me before I moved to Fulton County. I have never shot this gun. This is a Crossman pellet gun. It's one of those pellet guns that shoots like a 22. It's got a place for a scope up here. I need to get a scope for it and really try it out. Cause I mean, you can get freaking pellets cheap. But uh, anyway, that's where you put your little pellet right there and then you cock it and then shoot it. This right here is your safety. Right now it's on safety. Flip that up. Now it's off safety, ready to fire. Pretty cool little gun. Just need to get a scope for it and then it'll be ready to go. I, I really need to get a scope for this gun right here. So maybe I can get one one of these days. Of course, you guys know about this one. This is my squirrel getter right here. Between the 410 and the 22 revolver and this thing right here. And I would love, like I said, love to get a scope for the pellet gun. That'd be four different guns and kill four different squirrels. But this right here, this is my normal little squirrel getter. This is, a, this is the only semi-automatic that I got. This is a Marlin 22 semi-automatic long rifle. It is a shooting little dude, no bullets. This right here, the scope that I got, it, got on it is a 22 rimfire scope made by Bushnell. Uh, it's a really good scope. I've had it on here since I've actually owned the gun. Uh, of course, you guys know about my GoPro mount that I got on here that you guys seen in the last video. But it's just a good shooting little gun. I got it sided in where I wanted to side it in at. Very light, very easy to sling off my shoulder and get a shot, a quick shot if I need to. I have killed squirrels with it and it's 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 on. I mean, three shots, size of a nickel, probably about 30, 40 yards, just right there, the size of a nickel. It is on. I was just kind of rushing the shot on that squirrel in the last episode. 
but that little this little dude right here is a shooting little gun. Marlin is another one of my favorite brands. And this isn't the only Marlin that I have, which is going to bring me to the grand finale. You guys have seen me hunt with this a couple of times on my deer hunts. This is a Marlin Lever Action 3030. It used to be my grandpa's gun. My grandpa asked if I wanted to buy it from him. And I said, yes. I, as soon as he mentioned it, I said, yes. He put the Bushnell scope on it. And to be honest with you, I don't know the power of it, but um, it's it's just, it's a fixed scope. So, uh, I mean, you really, if they're pretty far away, you know, about a hundred yards, like you really gotta be steady so you can get a good shoulder shot, heart shot. But anyway, I really wanted this firearm. He priced it to me, this and I believe four boxes of shells for 400 bucks. And it came with the scope, raised up mounts, the see-through mounts. I call them raised up, but they're see-through mounts. Just in case they get too close, you can use the iron sights. I mean, this little 30-30 right here is a deer getter. I have honestly not killed a deer with this gun in three seasons now. Last deer I killed with this gun was that five point right there. Then I got that six point that I killed with this gun as well. But I've killed some bucks with it, killed some does with it. It is the truest firing rifle I have ever owned. And like I said, it was my grandpa's. This gun ain't going nowhere. And I know there's a lot of you guys out there that just strictly bow hunt. And that is fine. To be honest with you, I just gun hunt because I can. D do I have to? No, because normally I'll have two to three deer killed before gun season even starts. And if I go, I just go. This year, I didn't have to go, but I wanted to go with my grandpa, and I'm glad that I did because he's probably not going to get to go deer hunting anymore. I hope he does. hope I got another year to deer hunt with him. Um, but he only went three times this year, and I was with him uh, one of the times. So um, that was the last time that he went. So um, hopefully he gets to hunt again. If not, I'll always have that memory that I got to go deer hunting with grandpa because I was gun hunting with him. That is the firearm collection. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to turn on notifications, hit that subscribe button. I'll see y'all on the next one.